So my niece, Sydney, told me when she was in middle school that one thing she didn't like about her ADHD medicine was that it helped her be a really good student. It helped her focus on class, kept her A's. But it made her, it hard for her, she said, to have friends. So, you know, as I look back at what were the signs, I wonder about that conversation. She was sitting in the back seat of the car and we were driving up the highway. And um, that was kind of the end of that conversation. I also remember being at a family reunion and uh, by that point we knew that my child uh, lives with anxiety and depression and was getting support. And so at this reunion, you know how it, reunions can be, I go to Sydney and I said, can you kind of help your cousin, you know, my child feel more, you know, a part of this because it's just so overwhelming and he feels anxious and can you help? And she looked at me and said, I feel anxious too. And she walked away. You know, that was a sign. But we never, ever want it to be one of ours. And so I encourage you to pay attention to those little things. Could be big things. And the good news is that now that we know, uh, now that we've heard God's call, uh, we are preparing ourselves to save lives and to nurture you know, our own mental health. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite definitions of mental health as I've done this work over a decade. It comes from the World Health Organization. And so you can find it on their website. And as I give it to you, you'll probably see why I think it's so great. Mental health is a state of mental well-being that enables people to cope with the stresses of life. So mental health is what allows us to cope with the stresses of life, realize their abilities, so live into our full potential, learn well and work well, and contribute to their community. It's mental health that makes all of that possible. It's an integral part of our health that underpins collective abilities to make relationships, make decisions, to shape the world. And this is my favorite part. Mental health is a basic human right. Mental health is a basic human right. And as people of faith, I offer you this. Mental health is a God-given right. Mental health is a God-given right. And so this is an opportunity for us to be advocates for mental health justice as people of faith. And whatever barriers are in the way, whether it's insurance coverage and lack of funding, lack of care providers, lack of cultural sensitivities, language barriers, God says we have a right to mental health. Because it turns out mental health is the foundation of our society, of our thriving, of our whole being. So that is the definition I offer you.